Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Stellar Overload tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on finishing the quest or mission to make exploding bullets. So we need to find, talk to Trisha in order to do this. And Trisha, I believe, is in this room, which we've never been in before. It's right next door to. Trevor. So go in here and there is uh, Trisha. So let's speak to her. Hey you, welcome back and I can see you have all that I asked. Great. What's even more great is that I'm just done with the blueprints. Without further ado, here's the recipe for the explosive bullets. Orko told me to say don't use them don't use it in here. He's such a killjoy, but hey, if you've gathered some coal with the rest, you should be able to make some bullets for you. And before that, you should make a chemistry lab, because mine kind of exploded. Oh well. And there we go. Okay, so I got the chemical lab uh, recipe. Now, if we go into my inventory, you'll remember that the materials I needed to gather was col calorium ore, explodine and sand which you can get from riverbeds or the big lakes you can get it from underneath the water i will try to show that uh well if we go into the crafting menu let's see i'm gonna have to, so let's go back to my little base um, because my next quest is to craft uh, enough bullets and the chem chemistry lab so let's do that and the lift is still at the top so we're going to need to run up these steps you know what I think I'll send the lift down because I always seem to be down ok so up here let's jog over to my base well you can call it that it's just a few brick walls okay so the first thing I should do really is deposit some of these items from my pocket because my pocket is getting rather full um, So I'm going to get rid of, let's see, clay, I think we might need that. Um, hit all this greenery. There you go, so let's throw a load of this. As you can see your stuff soon builds up. Um, so many items, I wish there was an auto sorter, some sort of machine where you can put all the stuff in and it auto sorts it out for you. Um, so let's try this one. Let's have a look over here. Oh. I may as well grab that. I'm probably going to need that.
Right, I'm going to need the exploding to make these explosive bullets. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Oh, I've still got energy material. I'm not sure if that's needed. Let's just throw it over here. Well, I made a little bit of space in my pocket. I'll keep some mud. There we go, that's enough. Right, let's see what we need to make the chemistry lab. I think it's through the forge. There's the explosive bullets. Oh, wait a minute, there it is there. So I need 50 glass and one peroxide frame. So there's the peroxide frame. I need 100 peroxide. A good job I've got loads of coal, so let's first do the peroxide. And I'll do a hundred. In fact, let's do 30 more. Make that around 200. Oh no, wait, what is that? Oh, it's electrum. Right, let's do 70 more. There we go, we're at round 200 because we're going to use lots of that. Okay, so if we go back to here and the frame, let's craft that. Okay, good. Now we need sand. No, glass. So, where's the glass made? Yes, it's here, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we need 50. Let's do 100. Right, so we got the sand, we got everything we need. Now, if we go to here and craft the chemistry lab, we'll put that there. And the chemistry lab, I'm going to have to do stairs going up too small, I'm going to have to make this base bigger, but for now, let's just put it, pull it down. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Placing it down is another ma matter. Uh, let's walk back, there we go. Right. Now, if we use that, so we can make medikits, which we know already. We can do them from our pocket. We can make flammable powder now, which needs exploding and coal. I'm guessing that's one of the materials we're going to need to make these bullets. And that's probably why we had to make the chemistry station. So let's go back to the exploding bullets so there you go we need exploding and five calorium so that will make us well, let's check it out so let's make 25 Let's go back to here, and I need to make 21 more, so let's see if I've got enough, yeah, 21, and there we go, making a splash, you crafted the explosive bullets, so now we've got to go and talk to Trisha, Let's have a look in my pocket. So I've got 134 of them now. Put them over there. And I'll keep the rest of this stuff on me because I don't know if I'm going to have to craft some more. Anyway, let's go back to, to Trisha. I wish there was a nice way I could quickly die. In fact, let's do that. Let's just die. If I can. Must be some spiders around, isn't it?
Oh, they'll do. Spider seems to do more damage. Alright, there you go. Nice and quick death. Right, let's talk to Trisha. Oh my, you did it. And with significantly less explosions than when I work. Good job. Well, you can make a lot more if you want. They're great at killing critters. And I heard Trevor said he wanted to talk to you, so you might want to. Okay, so let's go talk to Trevor. Hey, hey kid, I heard you got your to go to the refinery. Good luck with that. Now I know Orko told you to use his hoverpipe, pipe, but what do you say I just teach you how to make one? I'll just need some time to draw up the prints for you. So in the meantime, why don't you just go out and start collecting on the stuff? You'll need the basic supply of calorium and peroxide ore, some exploding, and of course lots of coal. But what's new is that you'll need some sand. That can be found at the bottom of lakes. Some stellarite, uh, which we got. You'll find near the burning craters all around and some river scene too, which we also got. Now that's a bit trickier since it's only found on Istara. Not true, because I found a load. Uh, fortunately for you, a while back some cargo ships crashed landing on the surface. Ah, there we go, so that's what he's telling us. So you might be able to find some in the wreckages, and if you have any doubt, check your codex. So we got Revin and Driving, new quest. Okay, but we're now going to go to the refinery and see how quickly we can die. Because this has got some nasty critters in the refinery and I will be dying lots. But hopefully we'll keep making progress at the same time. Okay, first thing I guess is I really need to empty my pockets of everything except my guns and tools and, and uh, ammunition for the block thrower that, that is. So I'll need all the limestone. And let's use this. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to store all my ores and crystals and such like and sand. Yeah, everything I won't need. That's only 2,000 mud in fact, I won't put that in there. Okay, so that's everything to drop off. Let's put the logs in there. And I don't really need that quarter staff now. Let's put that in there. Now. Okay, that should be good enough. Oh, I don't need that glass. Right, okay, so these materials, this limestone and chalk, limestone I will use for the block thrower and the chalk I will use for building platforms and other cunning devices to get past the nastiest creatures, as you're going to see. So let's head there now. So we're going to go to the refinery. This is a nasty place where we will do lots of dying. 
to find it, it's over here. No, isn't it? That's where we are. There it is. So we need to go to this side of the cube. Which direction that is, I don't have a clue. Let's head south. In fact, let's take the hover bike. Why not? Okay, so. I'm going to head off the map south ways to start with. And I don't want to go near any settlements or anything because I don't want to get this hover bike blown up. Um, if it gets shot by the aliens, the robots, then it won't work anymore. And good luck trying to get another hover bike on Mercs. Oh, did I? Look at that. That was a stroke of luck. And there it is straight ahead of us. There's lots of places that I must go and scavenge from like all these villages. So we'll have an episode perhaps on just visiting all the the uh, land sites, the points of interest, craters and villages and guard towers. Right, I'm gonna land here. But don't wanna risk getting this blown up. And where's my trusty block thrower? Okay, this is quite a tough one, because there's going to be loads of robots here. Oops, something's shooting at me. Is that? Oh no, there he is. Who? Yeah, I don't know. Dead robot. Uh, right, so we've got to work our way in here. And it's full of aggressive, hostile robots. Oh crap, them bullets. Oh, look. I think I can outrange them. No, I can't. Well, oh, another one. Ooh, and he's shooting the ship out. anymore. Oh, there's a recipe. Brick. White. Okay, so time to explore this ship. That looks really cool. Last floor. Really lovely graphics. Oh, and there's a recipe. And robots. Now, what I want, really, first of all, is a respawner. Because if I die, I don't want to have to travel all the way back. So let's see if I can. Oops. Let's see if I can find the respawner. And I think it's over down here. The nearest respawner. Yeah, there we go. Oh, main quest updated. You find the refinery. So I've got a storm it. I'm not sure about that. What it should say is 
gingerly sneak in like a scared coward and shoot your way through because that's what I'll be doing. Anyway, so I've got myself. Let's go finish up above before I delve deeper down. Make sure I've cleared this all out. There's lots of nice loot in there as well, I think. in my base. So was there anything here? No. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, that was risky. So, a whole lot of nothing. I expect there are recipes hidden around, but I'm going to keep delving deeper. Explore the rest of this ship. I mean, I could properly search it all, but I don't want to bore you. There's something up there. Just can't get to it. Uh, right, let's build some blocks. Let's build my way up. So, we use the chalk. Oh yeah, look at that. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so we'll grab all of that. Nothing else here now, so let's head back down. And I think that's this ship done. So now, it's, have I, I think I've done these. Oh no, I haven't. Okay, it's time to head down deep into the robot territory. 
I probably missed a load of stuff on the ship, but that's okay. I just wanted to give you the general idea of the layout of it. Now, this is where we actually will be going in to start the observatory. And doing lots of dying, like I say. Okay, let's flip that. There you go. Ooh. How beautiful. And look at all the recipes. There's one up there and one over there. Oh, and a robot. They shoot so blinking fast. Oh, there's another one. It's okay, I'm bound right outside the door. some of these other recipes. Letter black. Oh, I've got the letter A white, and that's the letter A black. Now, there was another recipe. Where did I see that? Oh, yeah, over there. Leaking Pea Sculpture. Oh, you never know, I might want to build one of them one day. And sit there and admire it. Okay. I think that's everything from this little area. Time to progress on. Now, I think we actually come out here. The This is the exit. So, very handy, next to a spawner. These, that's right, these are nasty. Oh yeah, things are going to get nasty now. So, here's a door. Oh, and there's a nasty. Oh, there's the timer. Oh, wow, how quickly the time went. Let's just make a little further progress.
a knot gate, which you can use for making all sorts of electrical equipment. Okay, so this door here, we need to go into this room and fly up here. And flip the switch. Are there any secrets in here? Probably. Hidden behind some of these crates. But I shan't worry about that. Let's go check the door. There we go. And in the next episode, we will continue the quest Storm the Refinery. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.